Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is another exploration of the coin collection for all of you numismatists out there. I'm uh, very surprised. Actually, my most popular videos have been the coin collection videos. So this one, I thought I'd just take a couple minutes to highlight my, as you can see, very small collection of ancient coins. Um, other than these, my oldest coin in my collection is a 1773 Virginia halfpenny in pretty poor condition, but you can make out some of the details. Um, but that pales in comparison to the age of these ancients. Uh, my most recent one is also the oldest. So admittedly, I know very little about all of these. Um, so please comment down below for those of you that know far more than I do. This coin is from 202 to 133 BC, 2200 years ago or so, from the Greek city of Ephesus, which is along the Turkish coast uh, in today's map. Um, I've actually been there, which is one of the reasons I got this coin. You can see on the obverse, it's a honeybee, and on the reverse is a stag. The honeybee, I understand that Ephesus was the center for honey production in ancient Greece, and therefore the honeybee was a revered insect, and the stag has a connection of some sort to one of their goddesses. I think her name was Artemis, maybe? And that's why the honeybee and stag are on this coin. Again, 2200 years old, which is just really hard to believe that we can be holding that in our hands now. The other coins, I believe, are all Roman. <clears throat> all roughly the same age. These are from... This one here is from Gallienus. From... AD 253 to 268. You can see him there on the verse with a crown, kind of a spiked crown. And on the reverse, as many of these have, is a soldier holding a staff. There are websites that you can find that help you try and read the writing on these. Um, uh, they're very difficult to see Sometimes under a loop or maybe even a magnifier uh, hooks your computer, you can read them better. Uh, this one I believe is bronze. This coin here is from Postumus, who is an emperor again with the radiated head. 260 to 269 AD. This one has a nice strike to it as you can tell. And on the back, I'm told this is Jupiter holding a lightning bolt. And you can actually see it there. The next one, Claudius Gothicus II. Again, 268 to 270 AD. This one is not as clean a strike. You can see it's off-centered. But you, do, you can see the radiated crown on his picture there and a soldier or hunter of some sort on the back. This one Victorinus 268 to 270. Again the radiated crown. A lot of these guys had beards which I support. With soldier or a goddess of some sort on the back holding a staff again. Again, please comment down below if you know what these are. And I have, I have tried to research these. It's just very difficult to find the exact same one with the same legends and everything. This one is Constantine the Great I. See a slightly different Obverse, doesn't have the radiated crown, more elongated bust 
of the Emperor here. I do like the reverse on this one. It's clearly a soldier holding a spear, stepping on a fallen enemy or a slave of some sort. So there's a lot of drama in this one. So again, something different, just kind of a subset of my coin collection. I have really concentrated on US coins. I have quite a few foreign. And these ancients are just very interesting that I've added to the collection over the years. Probably need to learn a little bit more. I would say that this little coin from Ephesus is my favorite with the bee and the, and the stag. Again, because I've been there many years ago to the ancient ruins. And so it's kind of cool to hold a coin that somebody may have traded there 2,200 years ago. So with that, if you found this interesting, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, hit the bell, leave comments down below, and we'll see you again soon here in the arena.